Wildflowers is a story-driven farming life simulation game developed by Studio Dryrock and is available on Nintendo Switch, PC and even iOS. This isn't your typical farming life sim as the island you're located on contains magic and has many secrets for you to discover as you join the local witch coven. You play as a young woman named Tara who has decided she needs to get away from the city life after losing her job and separating from her fiancé. Your grandma happens to own a farm on a remote island called Fairhaven, so you decide to move in and offer your assistance to help with the farm in any way you can. You'll soon come to discover that your grandma is actually a witch, and as she suspects you've inherited her witchy powers, she asks you to join her in the local witch coven. Unfortunately, not everyone in the town is open-minded, so your newly found powers and the witch coven must stay a secret, even as you work to help the town with your magic. By day you'll farm and make friends with the locals, and by night you'll meet with your local witch coven in the forest to learn potions and incantations. Your newfound farm life will have you farming, cooking, fishing, mining and tending to livestock as well as getting to know all of your neighbours who all have quite interesting and deep backstories. After you move in with your grandma, you'll begin by helping tend to the crops in the small patch of land next to her house. You'll also have access to a small garden shed where you can place crafting machines to produce various goods. While it's not much of a farm to begin with, there are options to expand your farmable land, upgrade your garden shed, and even build a chicken coop and barn to house livestock. In addition to this, you'll also be able to cook food in your kitchen, either to restore your stamina, give as gifts, or sell for profit. And there's quite a selection of recipes available for you to learn, either from quests or by purchasing recipe books. There's also a little local mine right near your house that you can restore, where you'll eventually be able to mine to get gems and ore that you'll use to upgrade your farm, and you can also upgrade your axe, watering can, and pickaxe. Overall, there isn't a lot of customization options for your farm. Choosing where to put your crafting machines in your shed and your farming plots on the land is about as far as you'll get. The same goes for your character as well. You can't customize your looks or outfit at all, although I have seen it mentioned that you can change your outfit on the PC version. The magical part to Wildflowers was far more than what I was expecting, and I think it worked really well with the farming aspect. The introduction to magic and your witchy heritage is slowly introduced in the first few hours of your game, so it wasn't rushed and it felt very natural. You'll begin with your character having no inclination for her magical background, and you'll slowly learn with her about her abilities, her family history, and the town's witch coven. The coven has several masked members, all who meet every night in a secret location in the forest. Once you've proven yourself and become a member of the coven, you'll be able to go to the coven members for assistance for certain quests, and you'll also eventually be able to unmask these witches to learn which town residents they are. In your grandma's basement is where you'll set up with your cauldron, scribing table, distillery and more to craft your magical items. Not only do you make potions and incantations for quests, but you can actually freely make these to use throughout your game. There's potions to increase crop output, speed up growth, levitate objects, and there's also these incantations that can freeze time, make you walk faster and even turn you into an animal. One really cool thing about this game is that you have your typical seasons, but because the island is kind of magical, the seasons can only be changed through magical intervention. I really enjoyed having control over when the seasons change. It means there's no rush when trying to fulfill requests for seasonal crops and just makes it all a bit less stressful. You'll always have several quests active at any one time in Wildflowers so you'll never run out of things to do. There's always a story associated with a quest, and they're all fairly unique and thought out. I never once got to a point where I thought I was doing another boring side quest. Each season comes with a main storyline of sorts, and once you finish the main quests for that season, 
you'll be prompted to initiate the incantation to turn to the next season. Fairhaven is the cute little town you'll find yourself in, with breezy coastal areas for fishing, cozy forests where you'll meet in secret with your witch coven, and the main town area filled with residential houses and shops. In this main area you'll find your general store, blacksmith, jeweler, flower shop, diner, doctor, fish stall and more. All of which are these really detailed shops you can actually enter. They all each have their own custom opening hours and days, which can be a bit tricky to navigate when you're desperately trying to get something for a quest, so you'll need to keep that in mind while you're playing. The residents that reside on this island each have these rich backstories that you'll get to know as you chat to them, give them gifts, and complete their side quests. It even goes as detailed as to have these residents have different relationships with each other, so you'll get to know who they like and who they don't. When the shops are closed for the day, you'll find the residents at various locations on the map spending time with loved ones, or doing a hobby whether that be fishing or playing the guitar. These little details really made the town of Fairhaven feel alive, and it all feels quite natural and lived in. Unfortunately, this does feel like another one of those farming life sims where you seem to go out of your way to appease everyone and help with all of their problems, and you never get thanked quite as much as you probably should. A good example is you get asked to rebuild a ranch where you have to provide the materials and even pay for it, and your reward is a share of the profits once it sells, which is far less than what you paid to get it fixed. Other times someone will ask you to make them something, and instead of providing you the materials, they tell you who they think you should track down to get the stuff. It's really not a big issue, but it just makes your character kind of feel like a chump. The graphics for Wildflowers are very simple but charming. Everything from the outdoors to the shops are incredibly detailed. Even residential houses, which you can't actually enter, have this 3D design that lets you see through the window into these rooms that are decorated in a way that fits the owner's personalities. There is also voice acting for every single character, which just adds an extra layer to that immersive feel. And not only that, but the voice acting is actually so funny. Just the comedic timing and awkward pauses make some of the dialogue genuine laugh out loud moments. I surf a lot, I'm always hungry. Well, I am. I didn't experience any glitches, bugs, or lagging, which is quite surprising for a new farming life sim. I did play this on my Nintendo Switch, but I would be interested to know how well this game performs on iOS, so if you've had a chance to try this on iOS, please let me know how you went in the comments below. Wildflowers is a simple yet charming farming life sim that has taken a standard genre and added a fun twist in the form of magic. It's so easy to get into and you can easily lose many, many hours while playing this game. It's excellent value for money, costing about 22 US dollars, and I would even go as far as to say that they could be charging even more for it just because of the detail and effort that's gone into it. Plus, you could easily get about 40 to 60 hours out of this game. If you're after a relaxing, wholesome, and family-friendly farming life sim, then this is the game for you. Thank you so much for watching, please leave a like or comment if this review has helped you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!